We're very lucky in our location that we are um, based so close to Shannon Airport, which is um, the gateway to the Midwest. It's also near, the, our nearest beach would be La Hinch, which is 45 minutes drive. Um, it's a beautiful beach on the wild Atlantic way. There's also Loop Head and Kilkee, which are our favorite places to drive to on a Sunday if we get an hour off. That um, And all of our guests have just found the cliffs of Kilkee to be the most spectacular cliffs going, uh, as well as the cliffs of Moher. So we're really blessed with our location. Our house is a bit unique that we have a special needs little boy who we're trying to obviously mind as well. Um, so we've been cocooning for many months, but we're, uh, we're now welcoming get guests into our house because we really love having guests. We love having the buzz around our house and our house is too big for us on our own. Um, but we also um, want them to feel safe and comfortable coming in the door. So yeah, it's going to be the same Cade Mila Falta. We'll welcome you coming in the door. Everybody sanitizes their hands. We'll give you a little form that you'll fill in for us to make sure that everybody isn't um, symptomatic of COVID. And if they are symptomatic of COVID, then we will deal with them. We have an isolation room to put them into if they feel they have any symptoms and we can then help them out um, um, until they're well. We have five tables in our breakfast room. Um, we can cater for um, 17 people sitting at, the, at a time. However, we've, 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 we've tried it and we feel more comfortable doing three tables at a time. So when you arrive, and you're filling in your breakfast menu, we request the time that you'd like to come for breakfast and we try and cater for that with spacing you out with other customers. Um, so when you arrive, if you want 8 a.m. and everybody wants 8 a.m., I'll be adjusting some of the times to half eight or 7.30 or whatever to give you extra time to sit in the living room comfortably at a wave, two metres away from everybody else. The little extras, I suppose, are my husband's baking skills. And then uh, as well as that, we have um, we have safety jackets for walking to the village and we have sanitizer available before they leave and after they come home. We have decks of cards that we can give you to, you can keep if you want to um, play a game of cards in the living room. If there's, uh, if you want to play a game of Monopoly, we have them put away, but we, we have to request them and they will be sanitized after usage. Um, we have DVD players in every bedroom. So I have DVDs available for kids and for adults and um, just ask and request and they will be cleaned then down after you give them back to us. B&Bs are very safe because we've all done the training now. We are all aware of, um, of the, the COVID-19 safety charter. Um, we've all updated all of our skills with relation to cleaning. Um, and I think like we're spending an awful lot more time sanitizing and, and, and helping our guests to feel comfortable while in a clean environment. Um, so I think everybody worldwide understands uh, you know, that the COVID-19 is here to stay for a little bit while longer. And they all understand really that it's washing hands on arrival. Um, we're not giving the same hugs and we're not giving the same handshakes anymore. However, we want in our hearts to make everyone feel welcome and comfortable while they're coming into our home and make them feel at home.